What's up everybody, my name is BBM Sirius and welcome back to another Pokemon Go video. Today we have quite a bit going on. Not only do we have part two of the Winter Holiday event, but we also have the Winter Wonderland event, which really isn't a whole lot of an event. And today is also the Hisuian Avalog Raid Day. So before we dive any further into the contents of this video, I want to take this time right now to say that a good majority of the viewers who actually watch my videos aren't currently subscribed. So if you are one of those people, then do yourself a favor and go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below and also be sure to hit that notification bell while you're at it so you don't miss out on any new future content from this channel. But anyways, with that being said, let's get right into it. So first off, we're going to be talking about part two of the winter holiday event. And one of the first things I want to discuss is the brand new costumed Eevee that is featured as part of the event. So it, it is a brand new costumed Eevee and like the Flower Crown Eevee, you are able to evolve this variant into its respective Eevee illusions, which is pretty awesome. So this is an opportunity for me to try and get this brand new Eevee with all of its different forms and, and hopefully even get a Hundo one because I think it's also in raids too. So that's also really nice. We do also have the same kind of ice type Pokemon appearing in the wild, in raids, in 7 kilometer eggs. However, some notable changes are now the Deli Bird now has the ribbon on it again, so you can't find a regular Deli Bird. And also, we have the costumed Cub Chew as well. But now, the cool thing with the Cub Chew is, is that now we can actually evolve this into Bear Tick, so that's also really nice. And while we did end up losing the 50% extra experience from raids, we do still get to keep the 40 gifts bonus, which is fantastic. And Kyurem has also taken the place of Kobalion in Tier 5 raids, and also any Kyurem that you catch during this event will come with its brand new Ice Signature Charge move, Glaciate, which is a huge benefit for this Pokemon, and I will explain more about that closer to the end of this video. And alongside that, I will also be giving my personal analysis on Hisuian Avalog as well. So with that being said, let's go on ahead and jump right into everything. All right, so before I actually delve any deeper on screen right now, I actually have a shiny Hisuian Avalog. And this is also my third shiny Hisuian Avalog as well. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and use a Silver Pineapp because it's an automatic catch and we're just gonna throw the ball and secure it. So I know it's crazy, this is literally my third one, but you know what, I, I'm also just kind of doing it for the candies, and I'm also just doing these raids for the EXP, so yeah. There we go, we have the shiny Hisuian Avalog here, it's really not that great, at least not as great as some of the other ones I actually ended up getting. I'm also going to be checking these Eevees as well, and I'm also going to be doing more Hisuian Avalog raids because I am going to be doing my best to help my dad and actually get a shiny as well. So. So the EV that I just spoke of is able to be shiny, which is really nice. And that just makes collecting it that much more difficult because you are able to evolve it into its evolutions. And speaking of its evolutions, if you don't know how to get its respective forms, I will put on screen right now how to obtain them because each one is just a little bit different. And if you're not familiar with the nickname trick, I will also put on screen the list of nicknames that you can give to your Eevee to evolve it into its respective evolutions. However, do keep in mind that the Eevee nickname trick only works once, whether if it's a costumed Eevee or not. So once you use that respective nickname, you cannot use it a second time after that point. And I know I, I, know I kind of said that the Winter Wonderland event really isn't much of an event, but there are still a few bonuses that actually come with this little two-day event. You are able to do up to one extra special trade for both days and also a brand new permanent feature that is featured with the event is that now instead of getting up to 10 guaranteed lucky Pokemon from trades, you can now get up to 15 guaranteed lucky Pokemon from trades. And also, any Pokemon that you've had in your storage since 2017 when traded to another person that Pokemon is able to be a guaranteed lucky. And I also forgot to mention that there is a collection challenge featured with this as well, which I actually ended up completing off screen. There is also a timed research with the uh, Winter Holiday Part 2 event as well. Okay, so this is the collection challenge that I was speaking of for the Winter Wonderland event. 
which is very simple and easy to do. It's really just catch a bunch of the ice type Pokemon that are featured in the event, including the costume Deli Bird, the Cup Chew, and even the Eevee. I did have a little bit of difficulty doing this because I was actually doing this inside because right now things are just not looking too great outside especially like the day before I even started filming because the day before it was like negative six degrees outside and I'm just like there's no way I'm playing Pokemon Go in this weather absolutely no way but it is a little bit better today um, as it is about 10 degrees outside but even then that's still really cold so yeah, it's really just kind of more unpleasant to be playing Pokemon Go in this kind of weather regardless. But enough said, I'm actually going to go ahead and claim this collection challenge now. It's really just an incense and 10,000 experience as well as a Galarian Mr. Mime encounter. So let's see if this Galarian Mr. Mime is going to be shiny. Okay, it is not shiny, but we are going to catch it. And so here is the timed research that I was also speaking of, which I already completed all these tasks, but they were catch five Pokemon spin three Pokestops or gems and also power up a Pokemon five times so we are going to claim all of this right now and this is the costumed Eevee that I spoke of unfortunately this is not a hundo I kind of recognize the CP by this point from field research but we are going to catch it though and on that note we are going to go on ahead and claim the rewards here this is also where we now get to make our first wish as they just stated in the blog for season nine mythical wishes so we have the option of either getting half hatch distance, double catch experience, or double catch stardust. So I think I'm actually going to go on ahead and I am going to choose the double catch stardust. Just because, you know, I'm the stardust kind of person. I love to power up Pokemon and make them stronger, especially for the Go Battle League. So that is the route I am going to take. Alright, so me and my dad finally just did our last raid. And luckily, he actually just got his first shiny Hisuian Avalok. So there it is right there. He finally just got it. It's a beautiful shiny. Also, during one of the raids that me and my dad did, my dad actually ended up getting a Hunda. So I, well, I mean, to compensate for the fact that I got like three shinies. So I think I think that's kind of fair. I mean, I am a little bit jealous because you know it's a Hundo. You know, you can never go wrong with that. But... Like, I'm happy because me and my dad both have the shiny Hisuian Avalog and really at the end of the day that's really all that matters. Alright so apparently I just got my platinum medal for win 2000 raids so I'm I'm not sure if, if it's just like normal raids or if it's meant to include legendary raids or not but I'm assuming it's probably just for normal raids so I guess I just did my 2000th normal raid so okay. So now having claimed the Platinum Medal for Win 2000 Raids, we're going to dive back into the time research here, which two of the tasks I already completed, which was, I think, like, get 7,500 Stardust, which I already did, and I believe the first one was just catch 10 Pokemon. The other tasks we have are catch 25 Pokemon, catch 40 Ice-type Pokemon, and catch 8 different species of Ice-type Pokemon, and send 25 gifts to friends. So I will be doing this mostly off screen. So the Hisuian raid day has officially ended, or has been ended for at least a little while. But I also figured I wanted to kind of point out like the outdoor situation in terms of like what everything looks like. So this is kind of like what the roads and stuff look like and what like outside pretty much looks like. I mean the roads are a little bit better. I mean overall like it's not terrible out here but it's also not great either. Like, last I checked, it was like 13 degrees, so I mean, like I said, better than yesterday compared to when it was like negative 6 degrees outside and like awful wind chill, but yeah, I mean, you could kind of understand why I really don't want to be out here playing Pokemon Go right now, so I apologize for this being a relatively shorter video than the last. Okay, so diving back into the timed research, I'm actually almost done. I only need like one more ice type. And I already accidentally claimed the first task off screen, which actually was just a Slave Bell Stantler. So we're going to go ahead and actually claim the rest of these. I'm sure one of, one of these is definitely going to be an Ice type, and no doubt. Okay, yeah, there we go. There's our other Ice type. It's just a uh, costume Cub Chew. And hopefully the stats are actually really good to where I can evolve it into a uh, Bear Tick. That'll be really nice. So we now have our 40 Ice types, and we are going to 
claim the rest of these. This next one is a Lapras. Okay, this one is actually going to be a bit more of a pain to try to catch because of the fact it's got a low catch rate. Next up we have a Costume Deli Bird. Next one is a Galarian Darumaka. Alrighty. And the last one before we claim the set is a... Oh, another uh, Costume Beebe. So I already know right off the bat this is not a hundo because I believe a hundo from a field research is 459. This is definitely not. But now off to claim the Stardust and I think this might give us a Galarian Mr. Mime. I am not 100% sure. Let's see. Okay, that's what I thought. I'm pretty sure I thought it was a, a Galarian Mr. Mime. Not shiny, unfortunately. Alright, so that is it for the time to research as well as the collection challenge from the Winter Wonderland event. Alright, so with all that stuff out of the way, I want to now go on ahead and give my personal analysis on both Kyurem and the brand new Hisui and Avalug and just how good they are in Pokemon Go. Starting off with Kyurem first. So I'm going to talk about just how good Kyurem is and what exactly Glaciate will do for it. So, I mean, initially before Glaciate, Kyurem didn't really get a whole lot of usage as unfortunately it really just does not have access to an ice fast move that could really help it out and bolster it in raids thus making other Pokemon like Mamoswine and Galarian Darmanitan far better than it but however now that it has access to Glaciate this is actually a bit better than Blizzard so this could actually change things just slightly but even then I still feel like it might just be better to use Mamoswine and Galarian Darmanitan in raids as they put out far better damage output for ice types. But Glaciate though, like I said, it's better than Blizzard, so it's definitely going to be Kiram's new heaviest hitting move. Not to mention it is its signature move after all. But getting into the PvP aspect of this move, now it actually does far less damage than it would in raids, however it does have a lower energy requirement and I think it's like only like 45 energy that this move requires so that's actually pretty good. With Glaciate having such a having a relatively low energy requirement this is going to be very beneficial for Kyurem in PvP and I bet now because of this it's probably going to get a lot of usage in probably the Open Ultra League and very likely the Master League. Like, no doubt about it, I bet people are now going to probably invest into Kyurem because of the move Glaciate. It's going to be, like, Icy Wind almost. So yeah, and you can also get to, get to this and Dragon Claw relatively quickly with Dragon Breath, as that's definitely going to be, like, the default best fast move for Kyurem. So, yeah, I'm really curious to see how many people are going to be running Kyurem. I'm sure a lot of people are definitely going to be trying it out. And next up, I am now going to be covering Hisui and Avalug. How good is this going to be in Pokemon Go? Now, I will say this, it, it does have relatively decent stats. It's definitely better than its normal Kalos variant. However, it is an Ice and Rock type, so that makes it double weak to both Fighting types and Steel types. So you just have to be careful with what you line Hisui and Avalug against. But otherwise, I mean, the fact that it's got access to Powder Snow and Blizzard, I mean, if it had had Avalanche, this thing could actually be a bit better. So, like Kieran's situation, it's better to just stick with Mamma Swine and Galarian Darmanitan in terms of Ice types for raids. But Hisuian Avalog is not a terrible option either. Now, getting into the PvP aspect, this Pokemon's actually got a relatively decent move pull. I mean, it's got access to Blizzard, which is a very high energy demanding charge move, but it also has access to Powder Snow, and with Powder Snow being a relatively fast energy gaining move, like, you can get to Blizzard at a pretty decent pace. But it also has access to moves like Rock Slide and Crunch, which can allow, allow it coverage where you need it. So Rock Slide is one of those moves that you can use to, like, pressure shields and stuff from your opponents, as well as Crunch with that defense drop that you have a chance of getting and you can use crunch to even cover psychics and ghosts so yeah again like Kiram, i'm sure there's going to be people out there who might who might actually be trying out hisui and avalug for the ultra league and even the master league because it definitely has the stats where this pokemon can really thrive against like the meta that we're facing so yeah 
But anyways, that is actually going to be it for this video. I, again, I do apologize for this being relatively short and not being so, you know, like active. But otherwise, I think on that note, I'm actually going to go on ahead and I will actually end off this video right here. But anyways, I, I hope you guys still enjoyed this video. And as always, if you did enjoy it, then please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Also, leaving a like and a comment won't hurt either. But anyways, that is going to be it for me today. I'm BBM Serious, and I hope you guys have a seriously amazing day. And also, I want to wish all of you guys a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. And with it being Season 9 Mythical Wishes, I am also here to say, be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. Thank you so much for watching. Here is the Shundo Glalie that I actually spoke of. This is actually the first ever Shundo that I have actually acquired literally at full odds. So that makes it even better. And I think we're going to go on ahead and we're actually going to Mega Evolve this thing right now. Just because why not? And I think I'm actually going to make it my buddy too, just, for, just temporarily, just for the heck of it. And let's do it. <laughs> 